Welcome back. Today we are going to talk about the properties of dilations. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is um, give you a dilation and I want us to explore the coordinates of these uh, this dilation. So it looks like A has been, um, the quadrilateral A, B, C, D has been reduced in size to get A prime, B prime, C prime, D prime. Um, so let's say, uh, let's get the coordinates of each. So A was uh, 2, 5. B was 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 2. C was 1, 2, 3, 4, and negative 4. And D was negative 4 and negative 4. Okay, and so A prime is negative 1 and, let's see, so that's negative 1 and 1, 2 and a half. And B is uh, 2, 1 or b prime is 2, 1, and c prime is 2, negative 2, and d prime is negative 2, negative 2. Okay, so they want us to find the ratio of the prime coordinates to those of um, a, b, c, d. So if I take this, so the difference between, oh, these are the x coordinates. So here, the x coordinate would be uh, negative 1 over 2, so the ratio ends up being 0 0.5 or negative 0 0.5. Um, oh, actually, uh, x, a should be actually negative 2 right here, so this should actually just be a positive 2, or uh, positive. So here we have negative 1 over negative 2, which gets you 0 0.5 or 1 half. Here we have 2 over 4 which is 1 half. And then here we have 2 over 4, which is again 1 half. And here we have negative 2 over negative 4, which is 1 half. With the y coordinates, we have 2.5 over 5, which is 1 half, right? 2 and, two and a half is a half of 5. So I'm just focusing on the y coordinates in this column. So it's 0 0.5. 1 over 2 gets you 0 0.5. Negative 2 over negative 4 gets you 0 0.5. And negative 2 over negative 4 gets you 0 0.5. So here, all of the x coordinates uh, between um, the prime figure or the image and the pre image, uh, the pre image's figure uh, coordinates are all half of the image's coordinates. So here the ratio is always 1 half or 0 0.5. And that's in fact how we're going to perform dilations. This right here is called a scale factor. So here. Um, a, a dilation can produce a figure, an enlargement, or a reduction, which is what we just saw. We saw a reduction. The scale factor describes how much the figure is enlarged or reduced. So in the last problem, um, the figure, the pre-image, the quadrilateral A, B, C, D, had been reduced by a half to get the, um, the image of A prime, B prime, C prime, D prime. Um, and the, so the scale factor describes how much the figure has been enlarged or reduced. And the scale factor is the length of the image divided by the length of the original figure. Okay, so for instance, if we had to find the scale factor, first of all, let's identify the pre-image. The pre-image is A, B, C, D. So here, just take, just take one side length. So here, it's easier for us to count um, a side length that's either vertical or horizontal. It's harder for us to count a side length that is a that's created with a diagonal line. So let me either pick um, the line segment A, C, um, or you could also pick the line segment CB or, or BC. So what I want to do is I want to find the ratio of AC, I want that to be on the bottom, to the ratio of A prime C prime. Remember this means that the, this is the side length of A prime C prime. Well A prime C prime is one, two, three, four units long, so this is four units um, divided by two. So here Two is the scale factor. And if you notice, um, A, B, C, D, the triangle A, B, C, D, um, has been uh, enlarged. So the scale factor is greater than one, whereas um, this quadrilateral had been reduced, so the scale factor is less than one. So it's, if it's uh, reduced by half, or if it's reduced by a number less than one, so that means it ends up being reduced in the end. But if it's, uh, the scale factor is more than one, then it, it enlargens. Okay, you can also find scale factor from coordinates. So here, um, if I just look at the coordinates 
of the points here. So let's say A is, let me make this figure a little bit smaller here so I have some room to write. So the A coordinate in the original is negative 1, 1. And um, the A prime coordinate is negative 2, 2. So what I can notice here is that from going from a prime, the x coordinate of a prime, to the uh, let's say the x coordinate of a, that would be um, the x coordinate of a prime is negative two, and the x coordinate. Let me make this a little bit more understandable. So if I take a prime and I take its coordinates, and I divide it by a's coordinates essentially what I will get is the scale factor. So 2 divided by 2 gets you, uh, no, sorry, negative 2 divided by 1 gets you 2, and 2 divided by 1 gets you 2. So I know my scale factor is equal to 2 because from my image, or from the pre-image to the image, it was increased, so it was enlarged by a scale factor of 2. And what you'll notice is that any time any other coordinate is going to have the same relationship. So b, for instance, is 3, 2. That means b prime is uh, 6, 4. So I took both coordinates, x and y coordinates, and I multiplied them by 2 in order to get the coordinates of the, um, of the image. So c was 1, negative 2. If I multiply uh, 1, negative 2, if I multiply both of them by 2, I would get 2, negative 4. And you'll see that that is the coordinates of C prime. It's 2, negative 4. Okay, so that's all we're going over in the video today is how to um, find a scale factor from a dilation. And noticing that when the scale factor is greater than 1, it um, makes the figure, enlar it enlarges the figure. And when the scale factor is less than 1, it reduces the figure. And that's it for today.